Hey guys, it's Saf here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Now, for the last two to three, I feel like maybe even four months, I have sat in many different videos going, hey guys, I'm going to be doing a Slayer set breakdown. If you don't know what I mean by the Slayer set breakdown, we're talking about the variable artifact set that was added as part of the Monster Hunter collaboration. It used to be called the Rathalo set. Uh, now it's called the Slayer set. And it has a very cool effect where it has a 30% chance to repeat the damage that your AoE attack will deal. It's very AoE centric. And I've been meaning to do a video. It's actually incredibly complicated to figure out how this is working. And every time I went to go and record it, there was some sort of Plarium news that, hey, by the way, this isn't working correctly. Or, hey, we're going to be changing this feature. So, you know, I've been waiting for them to do the final checks. I thought they had it once they fixed the enemy max HP problem. Turns out that wasn't. We were waiting for the next update. We had that update in the update last week. And unfortunately, it is still not working as intended. So just to break down on what this is meant to do, it has got a 30% chance. And what it is meant to do is take the damage that you dealt and repeat the amount of damage. In terms of game code, just roughly how it does it, it takes like 100% of the value and then you can't re-multiply it. It doesn't crit or anything, it's a fixed value. The idea is it's meant to repeat the exact amount that you deal. So if we take it into something like uh, Marius, this is someone I've been testing Slayer set on quite recently, then it means if I was to use Marius in any sort of boss content, then I would absolutely use Death or Glory here and I would hit the enemy max HP cap, which means that I should, if I activate Slayer, repeat the full enemy max HP, but it doesn't do that. We were on stream the other night testing out uh, Marius in sort of Shogun Grove here, and we were trying to figure out how the hell these numbers were generating. You can see here, we're going to start this so we can see the run through. We're going to start it up here. We're going to take it off auto at this point. So if we put the debuffs on the target, this should mean that with the new boss stats that we've got them at, this should absolutely hit enemy max HP every single time. 294, that's that's the enemy max HP. The boss has now got 2.9 million health. So the 10% of that is 294,000. So if Slayer set was working as it should, then because it's enemy max HP, we should be max it, uh, we should be matching that hit. So if I hit for 294,000, then theoretically I should do an extra 294,000 if I activate the Slayer set. But when we actually throw it in here, you can see it's 160,890, and it's always going to be 160,890. So I don't really know where this has, has, has arrived from. I have a pretty good understanding of how the battle engine calculates damage at this point. I pretty much know how things work. I tried for about 45 minutes on stream trying to figure out where we were generating 160,890 from. Was it taking the sort of damage before we reached the maximum cap calculation and calculating it differently? Was it taking half the enemy max HP? Was it only taking the raw damage without masteries? Was it including crit damage? Was it including the debuffs? Was it including masteries? We tried all of these different things. The only thing I was able to confirm for certainty is that the masteries was having a visible impact on the final damage because if we actually activated it when it was below 40% HP, we'd do a little bit more damage because single out was actually improving the damage. So right now it's not working as intended and I was going to do some more in-depth diving but I did have a message from one of the moderators on the official discord to say that the devs are aware that the recent implementation of the Slayer set change which happened in update 8.6 hasn't resolved the issues and it's still not working as intended. What they were trying to fix in the recent implementation was a result of what they did from a video that I did a couple of weeks ago when they changed it in 8.5 was to make it so that actually only the enemy max HP abilities would actually cap when you're attacking a boss. Previously, the issue was the way that it was calculating the damage was doing it before the enemy max HP 10% passive was activating. So if I was to use something like Marius the Gallant and I was to use his A2, in Hydra, I could potentially get that doing a Slayer proc of 900,000 because it was essentially not respecting the 10% max HP cap and then the decapitation bonus was multiplying it. In 8.5, they modified it so that they changed it so that any Slayer activation would essentially be capped at 10% max HP if you were hitting a boss, which is obviously not fair for a champion like Garrel that is able to do more damage than 10% of the boss's HP through direct raw damage. That would actually punish Garrel. What they decided to do in update 8.6 is modify it so that they check to ensure that the multiplier was only scaling off enemy max HP, but whatever they did to implement it hasn't worked and we're still in the same situation as we are before. I don't really have any detailed math in this video to really break down exactly 
what is going on. I did try, I spent about an hour and a half really on it, trying to figure out where this number was being generated from. I can't think about how it's doing, how it, where it's calculating from at the moment. But for all those of you wondering how does Slayer calculate, where is the Slayer video that you were promised, Saf, where is it? I'm still waiting for them to finish modifying the set in its, in its almost, almost like final form. And once they've done that, I can then do a full breakdown on all of the different mechanics that work out how this calculates. Because there are some different rules in terms of which defense in an AOE set and is it calculating from? Does it include all of the masteries, only some of the masteries? Does it include debuffs? All of these questions we want to know in terms of how is this damage calculated? Until they finish modifying it, I almost am afraid to record the video in case instantly the next day it's out of date and then I have to redo it anyway. I don't really want to put two videos out to correct the other one or to remove the other one and then do another video. That's just really inefficient for everyone, really. So there you go, guys. Uh, do I think it's a problem at the moment? No, I still think it's really good. I still think it's very good to put on someone like Maris de Gallant. One thing I was able to confirm since my Maris spotlight is Slayer set can activate on each individual hit within this effect. There are a number of artifact sets in the game where only the skill matters. For example, when we look at uh, Merciless, it's, it's a one time per skill. Uh, Reflex is once per turn. Relentless kind of is once per turn because it can, it kind of reduces down. It can chain, but you can't stack them in, in essence. So what I was not sure about was would the Slayer repeat chance essentially mean that if I hit once, I only get one activation? If I hit three times within the same ability, will I get one activation? What well, I have confirmed and tested, as we saw in the, in the test with Shogun, that effectively there is a world where you could hit three times and get three Slayer activations, making this a six, effectively a six hit ability. It is incredibly powerful. And even in its not correct state, I'm still able to produce an extra 160, 170,000 damage there on top of my raw damage. So I don't think the fact that it's bug means you shouldn't use it until they fix it. It just will do more damage when they actually fix it properly because right now it's just not calculating correctly. It should do 100% of my damage. That's what it should deal. It's currently doing about 60% of my damage. And I don't really know where this 40% reduction is being calculated from. But it is doing it per hit. So there you go, guys. I will hopefully have a full Slayer video breakdown with all of the details this year, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully, if they can get it right, if they can code it right, I really hope they do. Uh, but if you are wondering why you're not seeing the good changes since they announced that it was fixed, it is because it is still bugged and they are working to fix it. So, so we'll just have to wait and see what they come up with. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.